you uh, really feel the same way about him as you did me? Flowing with the water, I'm spinning into orbit. My name is actually Marcus Beaton. So won't you I'm British and a lord. Right. What? <laughs> Drifting in the same old boat Please don't leave me. Why? Hmm? Give me a reason. And I'm Chuck Bass doesn't count. Because you don't want to. Not good enough. Because I don't want you to. It's not enough. Won't you echo back and make it fine? What else is there? The true reason Maybe I should see right where I am. Get in the car. You can lose it all if you wanna. Three words. Eight letters. Maybe you were out of mind. Say it. It's and I'm been yours. so long. I. You can keep your own dear life. You can lose it Thank all you. if you wanna. It's all I needed but here. I can't let you out of Claire, can I talk to you for a second? I'm actually in the middle of something. Oh, do you have a girl here? I mean, what about your devotion to Blair? It's not a girl, it's business. I'm uh, liquidating my shares in Victrola. Wait, you're selling the club? But you love that place. Chuck, if you're trying to impress Blair, I mean, come on, what you said in the limo was right. If I'm gonna compete with this guy, I have to rise to his level. Yeah, but don't you think that's a little extreme? Maybe. But given the situation, it's the right thing to do. Your plan to work totally backfired. Turns out Marcus's mommy is even sicker than you are. Go along, Gray. I think she recognized part of herself in me. Or rather, I recognized someone in her. I don't follow. All you need to know is that you lost. But don't be too hard on yourself. It was a solid effort. Tomorrow's another day. Good night, Chuck. Relax. Nothing happened with Madame Butterfly. Yeah, right. No. Nothing happened. Same as nothing's been happening all week. What are you talking about? You've had different girls every day. It's been so long. No, I'll take your incredulity as a compliment. You can lose it all if you want to. But I can't let you out. You are sleeping with Catherine, right? Or do you prefer mom? I can explain. Hooking up with your dad's second wife. <laughs> and I thought my family was twisted, but you people take the cake. It's only happened a few times. And I put a stop to it when I met you. Why does that change your heart? Like I said, the whole thing is dull. Pursuing Vanessa's beneath us both. You think I'm going in for the kill? You're worried you're gonna have to go through with what you promised. I'm not worried about that. Well, then what? Then nothing. Just forget it. What did you do? Marcus and Catherine are free to live their sick little lives in peace. As am I. Now that you have nothing on me, you're done here. Except one more thing. You may think you've discovered the hidden Chuck, but you should know he has no real feelings for you whatsoever. It was all a little bet we made to see just how gullible you can be. Good boy. Well, you may not have seduced her, but she's really humiliated to me. Say those three words. You wanted me to say. Are you kidding? Not quite. Eight letters. Three syllables. Say them and I'm yours. But I'm already yours and you're ruining the mood with all this talk. You can't say it. You wanted it from me. I'm prepared to settle. Maybe I'm not. We're here to gloat. Over what? Well, you won. Pop the champagne. Then win. 
Why does it feel like I lost? The reason we can't say those three words to each other isn't because they aren't true. Then why? I think we both know the moment we do, it won't be the start of something, it'll be the end. Look, I'd rather await. And maybe in the future. I suppose there could be some excruciating pleasure in that. It's his father's funeral. He needs to be here and show his respect. Respect? The father wasn't show much of that in his final days. What's he talking about? Who knows? When we found him, his shoes were on the wrong feet. Chuck, remember how in eighth grade you used to help yourself to the decanter in the captain's library? First got my taste for single malt. That's right, and you'd have to go home to a four-course dinner without passing on your consomme? I don't want my father to think less of me. What does that matter now? Chuck, am I gonna have to stick my finger down your throat? They don't hold back your hair. What? No, no, sorry, Blair. You had me, and then you lost me. I have business to attend to. Oh, okay, that's fine, but let's just find you a quiet corner and get some food in your stomach. I'm not in the mood for food. You're really sweet with him. Me? Sweet? No. No, you are. I mean, worrying about him, offering him food, it's downright maternal. I'm not maternal, I've just been spending too much time with Cyrus and I'm turning Jewish. Chuck. Stop. All this doesn't help, it isn't you. Wrong. Mark may have been a bastard, but he saw me better than anyone. I'm simply living up to my potential. It's time to let go of your fantasies. I don't believe you. It's your business. <sighs> now, was that it? Now, where are you going to tell me you love me again? Why did you even come back? you going anywhere. I couldn't bear it. So whatever you want to do to yourself, please don't do that to me. anything today, but I don't care. Whatever you're going through, I want to be there for you. We've talked about this. You are not my girlfriend. But I am me. And you are you. You're Chuck and Blair. Blair and Chuck. The worst thing you've ever done the darkest thought you've ever had. I will stand by you through anything. Why would you do that? Because I love you. That's too bad. Something nice, supportive, yes. I need your help. Stop trying to play the wife. All I wanted to do was just be there. But today, when you call me your wife, you made it sound like the ugliest word in the world.
please. <laughs> destroy the old you or every bridge it won't help believe me i've tried maybe i should head up to the roof make it a little more dramatic you how do you know because i know you better than i know myself right you can see right through me can't you chuck right to my core do you remember the first time you saw the real me we had a dance tree that night at Victrola. I'll go out with none of the hang-ups, none of the frustrations. That's the point right here. Tell me how you really felt. Obviously, it was just another one of your game. But are we, Chuck? Claire. Last fall, you said we couldn't be together. And I believed you. But every time I try to move on, you're right there. Acting like... Acting like what? Like... Maybe you just want me to be as unhappy as you are. I would never wish that on anyone. I want you to be happy. Don't look down deep into the soul I know you have. And tell me if what you feel for me is real. Or if it's just a game. If it's real, we'll figure it out. All of us. But if it's not, And please, Chuck, just let me go. It's just a game. I hate to lose. I can't believe Blair won. Yeah, who are you going to vote for? Me. About 150 times. I'm 
wasn't putting the Nellie Yuki ballots in, I was taking them out. But what about what she said you did to her limo and hotel and her corsage? The dress looks better without it. Hi. I haven't seen you around. Have you been looking? How are you? I'm fine. No, I'm great. Um, but I could be better. You know you told Serena you love me. Serena hurt Rob. Last year you told Nate, this year you told Serena. You tell everyone but me. Why can't you tell me? Is Gossip Girl right about you being a coward? That's not true, and you know it. Gossip Girl can be right about you all she wants. But I won't let her be right about me. I will not be weak anymore. We're struck. It's over. Once and for all. I love you so much. It consumes me. I know you love it too. Tell me you love me. And everything we've done, the gossip, and the lies, and the hurt, and the bimps. But I'm gonna be strong. It still doesn't feel right without me. I know everyone's here. Maybe it was. face without a screen cutting through